five DWP and HMRC changes in October including the state pension. Hey everyone! Welcome back to UK Times. In today's video, we're diving into five important changes from the DWP and HMRC coming this October, including some major updates to the state pension. Whether you're a pensioner, on universal credit, or affected by changes to tax credits, these updates could have a big impact on your finances. We'll be breaking down everything you need to know so you can stay informed and prepared. 5 Major Changes from the Department for Work and Pensions, DWP, and HM Revenue and Customs, HMRC, have been unveiled for October. This includes huge alterations to the state pension and a number of modifications that came into effect this week. Crucially, these will affect everyone from self-employed workers, to benefits claimants. Among the next big changes are rules set to be implemented in just a matter of days, 1. HMRC deadline October 5. If you've never submitted a self-assessment tax return before, you must register with HMRC by this date for the 2023-24 tax year. Usually, tax is deducted from company wages and pensions using an automatic system known as pay. But, if you receive money from outside sources, you'll need to submit a tax return to HMRC every year. Which, explains, if you receive any other income such as from self-employment, property, capital gains, or dividends you need to report this to HMRC by sending a self-assessment tax return. Quote dot. In 2023, the Consumer Champion estimates that over 12.1 million people were expected to file a self-assessment tax form. Anyone can do this by filling out a form online or sending a paper copy, but for the latter, you'll need to request Form SA 100 feet by calling HMRC. Aside from the reasons which mentions, you may also need to fill out a tax return if you have the following, you were self-employed as a sole trader and earned more than £1,000 before taking off anything you can claim tax relief on. You were a partner in a business partnership. You had a total taxable income of more than £150,000. You had to pay capital gains tax when you sold or disposed of something that increased in value. You had to pay the high income child benefit charge. You receive money from renting out a property. You receive tips and commissions. You receive foreign income. You use crypto assets. 2. New fraud rules for banks October 7. From October 7, new fraud rules for banks mean they'll have to reimburse most victims of authorized push payment, app, scams. Although the maximum reimbursement limit has been slashed from £415,000 to £85,000, the payment systems regulator assures that over 99% of app claims by volume will still be covered by this. App fraud occurs when a victim unknowingly transfers money to a scammer posing as someone they know. Under the new regulations, banks will be obliged to reimburse app victims unless they've been grossly negligent. 3. Winter fuel payment throughout October. This month, Eligible individuals may receive the winter fuel payment, worth up to £300. Most people who qualify will automatically receive this cash, but some will need to apply. If you're one of them, you're now able to make applications in the post, but the phone claim process will kickstart from October 28. Kickstarted in 1997, the winter fuel payment is an annual tax-free grant designed to give elderly people support in heating their homes during the colder months. Recently, Chancellor Rachel Reeves announced that households in England and Wales would no longer be entitled to the winter fuel payment unless they receive pension credit or certain other means-tested benefits. Means-testing refers to issuing benefits based on your income and savings. If you live abroad and want to claim a winter fuel payment, you must have also moved to an eligible EEA country or Switzerland before December 31, 2020, and be covered by the withdrawal agreement. It's vital that you have a genuine and sufficient link to the UK to claim this payment. 4. Budget October 30. This month, Chancellor Rachel Reeves is poised to present Labour's first autumn budget since their victory at the general election in July. The crucial financial update, which will reveal the government's spending plans for the coming year, is scheduled for Wednesday, October 30. 5. HMRC deadline October 31. Should you opt to submit your self-assessment tax return manually, note that the cut-off date is 31 October. Crucially, this differs to the registration date of October 5. Delay beyond this date and you'll find yourself subject to a minimum penalty of £100 for returns up to three months overdue. 
Additional charges can accrue if your return is further delayed plus interest or similarly, for late payment of your tax bill. If you don't send your paper form on time, you can instead fill out your tax return online. The deadline for this is January 31, 2025. The deadline for paying the tax you owe is also January 31, 2025. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.